Done? What have you What have you seen from Corey Foreman over the last couple of days of practice? Um, you know, still waiting for him to come and fully go to really give a good opinion, but we all know he has the potential and he has the talent, he has the skill set, but um, all praying that he gets healthy soon. Tui has been one of the best players on this defensive line for a while now, yeah. and he's probably primed to have a big role this year. Where do you expect him to play on the line this year? And what's the well, role when you when you're a leader like that, you the expectation is high. You expect him to make a play every single down, and that's the standard that he's set up and that he's capable of, and um, that's the expectation. Is your approach being here different than it was at, at Michigan? everything being new players? No, very similar. You got to always start with the mindset, make sure their mindset is right. They're ready to go out there and compete. And then you help them with the, the skills and the tools that you can help with technique so that way they can go out there and perform at a high level. But it's a very simple game. You get their mind right, get them the tools to use while they go out there and play. And um, very similar. You said the jury was kind of out last week because you hadn't had the pads on. I knew you were going to come back with that. I knew well, it. It's an yeah. ongoing thing here, you know. It's only been two days. Nah, I'm just kidding. No, it reveals a lot about, about who you have as a group, and I'm very, very encouraged. Very encouraged with what we see. Like, you know, they, they love to hit. They love to put the helmet, put the pads on and strap the helmet up and, and go out there and play. So um, find out that they're a competitive unit. I'm very, very encouraged. You're talking a lot about physicality and how integral it is just to being a football player. Yeah. How teachable is physicality? Very teachable. Yeah. Either you're going to go out there and hit them or you're not going to, and then you won't get a chance to go do that because you have that privilege. So it's very, very simple. And if you give them another chance to do it again, then you hope they respond. I'm sure you've been asked this before. Uh, what kind of guys, when you're out recruiting for a defensive lineman, yeah. what, are you, what are you looking for? You want those guys? big, mean, ugly, nasty looking guys that love to run, love to. Uh, just love to compete you know you want big guys that can that can run that can move um, just like the little guys when the dbs and all those guys they look for little guys that can hit you know so you you want big guys that can move is seeing them in person mm -hmm. is that, is, how important is that for you guys crucial because you know there's a lot of data and stuff that come out he's between 5'10 and 6'5. That, that's a huge difference you know so you got to go verify their height their size their mass their weight and everything Thank you.